Now, if we shift to the inside of the jaw, we can see that there are some very powerful muscle attachments here going from the top down through this region, and this gives a muscle mass that fills in this whole area. These muscles allow the animal to close its jaws on very large animals and deliver a powerful bite very rapidly. And it would have no trouble at all cutting an animal such as myself in half in one single bite. We can say that Tyrannosaurus basically had a mouth full of steak knives. And if you have a mouth full of steak knives, obviously you eat steak, which is meat. We know that Tyrannosaurus ate meat. We know that they ate dinosaurs because we have evidence. This is a, a piece of a, a fibula, a shin bone from a duckbill dinosaur, and this shin bone actually has gouges, tooth marks, from, from being bitten by a tyrannosaur. And what's really interesting, it has a puncture mark in it, and in that puncture mark within the bone is actually the tip of a tyrannosaur tooth. So this is absolute proof that tyrannosaurs ate meat, that they ate other dinosaurs. But what it is not is evidence that the tyrannosaur killed this particular animal. But Ken Carpenter's forensic examination of another duckbill provides more compelling evidence that T-Rex was a powerful, if not always successful, predator. I've been involved in a bit of detective work with the skeleton, mostly centered around the damaged area in this part of the tail. If we look here, we'll see that part of this uh, spine is missing. And it turns out that there's a very nice groove here that if I were to take a Tyrannosaurus tooth, we find that it fits very well in that groove. Most likely then that this part of the vertebrae was bitten off by a Tyrannosaurus rex that was attacking from the right rear. Now, interestingly, we have regrowth of bone around this spine as well as around some of the tooth puncture marks on these adjacent ones indicating that this animal survived the attack and the only animal that was big enough living at this time with jaws powerful enough to have sheared through this bone would have been a Tyrannosaurus rex and I think it shows conclusively that Tyrannosaurus rex was a predator and not a scavenger as some have thought. century, the badlands of North America have gradually yielded the first clues to a great prehistoric puzzle, evidence of how T-Rex lived. Many scientists are now convinced they have also uncovered the reason it died. A narrow band of sediment marks the end of the age of dinosaurs and the beginning of the rise of mammals, the boundary between two geological epochs. Cretaceous tertiary boundary um, is well defined in this outcrop right here where we've been digging. Well, the actual boundary is known from a very narrow band of clay that was laid down 65 million years ago. We can recognize it on a global scale, and it tells us that something very specific happened at that time, in geological time. There was a rare mineral called iridium found in the clay. It was carried here by an asteroid that smashed into the planet. But did that actually cause the extinction of the dinosaurs? Certainly, it seems to have had devastating effects. The fossil plants below the boundary tell us that there were lush forests 
existing in this region and, and throughout the prairie regions that we know as we know them today before the boundary. And right before the boundary, in some sediments that, that I have studied, we have a very typical cypress swamp, such as the bald cypress swamp that you would find down in southern parts of the United States. And above the boundary, there are no cypress trees. There's nothing in, the, in those remains above the boundary that tell us the cypress swamp was around. It was gone. So something happened at that boundary that was very dramatic. It leveled the forest. The standing vegetation was, was literally clear cut in a sense. Did this single catastrophe kill T. rex? There are no fossils in the sediments immediately below the boundary, leading many to argue that the dinosaurs were extinct long before the asteroid impact. But a newly discovered footprint from New Mexico seems to indicate that the dinosaurs were still there. This is the uh, layer with the uh, youngest uh, known dinosaur tracks. They're only 37 centimeters or so below this uh, iridium layer. That could be as little as uh, a thousand years or less. And what it indicates is that the dinosaurs in this region that made their footprints on this surface lived up until the very last minute. They weren't dying off slowly for hundreds of thousands or millions of years before the KT event. They survived until the 11th hour, if you like. If Tyrannosaurus rex was around until the last moment, then it was witness to one of the most devastating events the world has ever seen. An environmental holocaust that not even the strongest of all the dinosaurs could survive. The Badlands have surrendered a few of their secrets. But many questions remain. Hidden somewhere in these canyons, are more clues to the ferocious life and mysterious death of the most powerful creature that ever walked the earth. <laughs>